What's going on everybody? This is Stubbs here from Retro Handhelds and today we're going to take a quick look at the Win 701 from Ambernic. It must be Christmas in June because this thing looks hot. Purportedly it has a AMD Ryzen 7 78 40U inside of it, which is crazy considering the Win 600 had a less than ideal AMD Athlon 3050 and 3020E. So what can 7840U do? Well, it can outclass all of the 6800U handhelds. That includes the Loki, that includes the Win 4 from GPD. It's gonna go neck and neck with the Asus Rogue Ally, which has a Z1 Extreme in it. 7840U is a beast being used in other handhelds this year from Aya Neo, from Orange Pie, and it can emulate all the way up through PS3 and Switch without breaking much of a sweat. So this is some incredible performance. With news coming from our friends over at Retro Dodo, leaking an image here, what a prototype looks like. The big leak this week coming from the Nitrix YouTube channel over in China. Nitrix has been responsible and correctly assessed early leaks of the RG Nano from Ambernic as well as many other handhelds. So this is a credible source and, and they're using the touch screen there. So it looks like some LED light up rings and they even broke it down, tore it open and looked inside. But here's the thing. The Win 600 was comfortable for platformers, but as soon as you got up to modern gaming or FPSs, having that joystick on the bottom on the left was a pain in the butt so seeing it here with the joystick prominently in the top left where it should be for modern windows gaming that is really nice to see that looks comfortable the shell doesn't look super attractive but i'm guessing we'll get some different colorways in face buttons look very serviceable you know it's probably going to have that classic mushy and burnic d-pad although that looks like it might not be that looks a little different than the win 600 doesn't it you have what looks like a home button probably some sort of button to get you into the software which i hope and has brought some solution to make windows easier to navigate and not so cumbersome and awkward something like the loki control center something like the armory app from the asus rog ally we need something like this looks like we have led lighting on the joysticks and Burnick is here to compete with a high-end handheld how are they going to get the pricing on this in within their usual standards the win 600 was around 300 400 or for the high-end version five hundred dollars a 7840u we're not going to see for less than six or seven hundred dollars but they're going to have to be in that range to compete with the slew of other handhelds out how are they going to beat the loki or the asus rogue ally when you can just go to a best buy and pick this up for 700 bucks but the battery life is atrocious on this and navigating windows is still cumbersome even with the armory software so if they can pull off a good software ui if they can get steam os working from day one if they could ship with Steam OS, that would be the game changer. Windows is just an awful experience as a gamer, and especially as a retro gamer. Yeah, we're doing emulation. Yeah, we're tinkers, but we need something easy to use. Launching straight into LaunchBox or Play Night, while after some setup can be okay, you're still dealing with Windows at the end of the day. You're dealing with antivirus. You're dealing with Windows updates. You're dealing with drivers and all these little things that are going to the hours are going to add up over time and burn it give us a easy to use interface that's my one ask can it best the all-time easy to use x86 handheld the steam deck this thing is still my favorite out of everything i have we also have a gpd win 4 you're going to see some content out on this week we want a bigger battery we want to keep temps low and we want something easy to navigate that is so key when we're in a sea of Windows handhelds this year. How do you make yourself stand out, make Windows better? As far as hard specs on this go, the Win 701 has that Ryzen 7 7840U processor with eight AMD Zen 4 CPU cores, 16 threads, and Radeon 780M integrated graphics with 12 RDNA 3 compute units and support for GPU speeds up to 2.7 gigahertz. It's basically the same processor as the Ryzen Z1 Extreme featured in the ROG Ally. The key difference being that the Z1 Extreme lacks a dedicated AI accelerator with what appears to be a 7-inch display, by the way. A 7-inch display is going to be pretty nice. Initially, we thought it would be a 16 by 9 ratio. It appears to be a little taller than that, having a 16 by 10 ratio, but we'll have to confirm. There's a fan for active cooling, and there appears to be a 5,000 milliamp hour, 38 watt hour battery inside. That's a little paltry on the battery size. Yikes. The Win 600 if you kept the TDPs low, I'm talking three watts, you could get five, six hours out of it for low-end retro gaming. This is a small battery. 
if we can get the TDP super low where the operating system is still stable, we might be seeing this as a awesome handheld for retro emulation and for indie gaming on Steam. You're doing your Game Pass on there. We hope it has Wi-Fi 6E. We're hoping the sticks are Hall. We're hoping the analog L2 R2 are Hall and bring it in right around five to $600. That would be perfect. So what do you guys think? Are they gonna pull this off in time? Is this gonna take all year? Is it gonna to come too late, much like the AYN Loki? Or are we gonna see an awesome summer release in the coming days? Subscribe for more and we will be here to tell you all about it. Until next time, this has been Stubbs from Retro Handhelds. Take care of your handhelds, everybody, and take care of each other.